हेलो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक आईटी इनसेट्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑर्डर मैनेजमेंट सिग्नल्स एंड वेरिएबल मैप हाउ इट इज वर्क्स एंड व्हाई व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द इन ऑर्डर मैनेजमेंट सिग्नल्स हाउ इट गेट वर्क्स एंड हाउ व्हाट इज द रीजन एंड वी कैन सी दिस हाउ ग्राफिकली आई एक्सप्लेन दिस हाउ यू विल अंडरस्टैंड how it get call and uh, how we are doing the development in uh, how we can use it signals and how it is another management is signals will get call in details you can see in order to continue stay with my channel and please subscribe my channel uh, for more videos see that uh, different uh, order to asset order to in the previous videos there is i have defined i order to asset asset to order i discuss in order to continue here so today we can see this um, signals signal is uh, called uh, you know we can say it's a api support for the api we handle the series of the business component methods and workflows in you can want to define a uh, signal you want to find the signals how in vanilla then um, you can go to the administration order management and signals view and uh, signal x is the action user property specify the business com business service or workflow invoked by signal release so here suppose if you are creating any custom uh, method you are um, you are not defining anything uh, then uh, it will try to find the first level user context level bc layer and it is any uh, you are written any scripting runtime events or in, then it will try to find the uh, service of the context of the method when you click that and if you even it will go to the any uh, you are defining the signals and uh, this is so empty service is passed to the method and you try to find some business uh, component method it raise the signal to external pass, pass it and you will get some error also specialized method does not support to the business component so such kind of you know uh, this is uh, even and right uh, you can you can create your own custom signal also but in an order management most of them are using for the vanilla one you try to modify the add the new fields we will not create them um, so uh, very uh, try to use the minimal as it is signals most of the times we try to modify the uh, signals whereas any adding the fields and all so in order to continue here you can see this um, uh, how Uh, signal administration it will go how signal dispatcher will get so signal dispatcher is the uh, context of the service business service which is passed to the cache the signal and here you can see the um, the context of the service is a variable map where i have defined that uh, uh, variable signal source here signal source of the invoke through the standard method whereas called on on user click or anything button and signal action what are the action to be performed are uh, there the which service you are going to call it is action to be performed so in order to continue here you can see you know to uh, here for example you go to the cbl application go to the orders you see this revise and you can see this uh, customize there are signals on it will go you can see here order management uh, auto asset auto order these are refresh these are signals so how it will get works we can see now so you can see this for example reverse reverse order is reverse copy order whereas i want to by clicking the reverse button that complete order will get revised and in order to here you can see the how it is reverse getter on button will works this is the one if there we can see uh, business services get call and how the method is data transform so data transform here method is there and instances uh, type is there so what is the mode mode is the nothing but you can see mode is the uh, method of the business uh, user property business component user property such as like you know order code asset whereas instance type is 
which you want to uh, specialized uh, business component level where you are defining the user property it's a, a vanilla whereas instance uniform name ea object so here bo name so bo context will get query and here user property for example header is there header will get uh, the bo will get can see and line terms line terms we want to define under whatever the uh, it get called the fields which is you are defining for example you can see the um, calculator page will get called so pricing will work device copy and uh, you can see uh, one more here price calculated price call all is there so here the order management any product uh, where i want to you will call this uh, you can see the product engine with uh, get call we you can see the psp driver drive uh, workflow process will get defined and it will get call you can see in the uh, parameters whereas row scope whereas row con uh, variable context will get call variable map is getting call variable map is you can see the default price variable map and row con row set is there so here uh, you, the PSP engine workflow will get called. You can see the basic price pricing procedure is get, get called here. Here, what is the variable map? A very important. You can see the mapping has defined by the row context uh, in the variable map level. You can take here and you can go here variable map. You can find that. Variable map. So here it has mapped the integration uh, variable map definition. You can find the name of the here the fields, and you can see here the fields which is defining here. So variable child, if you has any a child one, you are defining here child, and it is a adder. So here it will get called, and we are. Defining the fields wherever you want to create your, you can create your. You need defining that. You can here you can see the source whereas get instances path. So here this is the inner variable. What is NRC and mode and we can see the price list and currency. This is the context of the get variable source. And if you have any uh, variable source of the parameter, you can define here. So in order to see here, whereas, for example, uh, variable context will get passed, and you can see this row scope is a selector, whereas uh, CF is old. And so you can see this. Uh, what is the concept of the variable map? Is a variable map is name of the name value pair of the property set. And variable map is defined how to construct the property set uh, given the situation where it's changing to the save that like, uh, when you are doing that uh, each variable one or more variable structure whenever you are defining that doing that like for example quote or order and such as you know uh, those source of the business component whereas uh, the active instances you will take so basically it will work on the active context where you are doing that uh, any uh, whereas customized or you are doing any. Uh, the, on the context only it will get box and the, what is the context so whenever the uh, there are variable map types are there you need to understand this uh, terminology and you can see here the diagrammatical where i explained here variable map types three types of is there so context and row set and xa so context is the load of a single row uh, containing a shared head of the uh, header level information, whereas uh, such as channel, account type, uh, here. So, 